All right, guys, I got my daughter. We're still working on her house. I forgot to film an intro for this video. Uh, we were supposed to uh, install a condensate pump on this roof AC, and let's take a look at how I did it. The condensate pump's gonna pump water from the AC to the ground so it doesn't go on the roof. That's what we're doing. Take a look. So here we go right there. Now I haven't read the instructions yet because they just blew away. But I found them. Right here's a little pocket for it. Now these capacitors, just move out of the way, they're just stuck on there. Which seems like one of those good ideas until it's not a good idea. So it's just gonna fit right in there. There's just this one nut right there. About a three sixteenths more than likely. And then it'll take the uh, condensate and pump it out but you'll notice there's some holes I don't know if you can see the holes uh, let me see if I can't point them out you can see my hand moving behind them so we gotta plug those holes off I hope they have something in the kit if not I'll have to make something all right so the instructions clearly say it's up to you to decide how to plug the holes using silicone epoxy or I guess bubble gum so I get to decide how to do that I'll probably just use um, metal tape and then also some sealant they provide a new bolt for you so that bolt this nut we're going to use for sure and then we have to drill another hole right in there so we'll do that real fast and then we'll be right back now of course i already took that off and this is going to have to be routed through there so probably to make it make more sense what i'm going to do is take this uh clamshell cover off they're just the four screws or four nuts. One, two, three, four. We'll get rid of those real fast and pull the whole thing off. Let's get those out. I can just lift this whole thing out. And then. So now you can kind of see where it's going to be routed through right there. I think our next step is we actually have to go to this control box here. So to get access to that, we're going to have to get this motor out of the way. I think the easiest way to do that is just going to be to uh, pull those 3 sixteenths nuts again. So let's do that. Okay, so three nuts, three washers. Don't lose those. I cut the zip ties that were holding this wire into this mass right there just so I had some place to get some slack on there. All right. So there's uh, the control box. There's uh, the uh, wiring schematic right there. Yeah, they redesigned these things a few years ago. Used to have a little bit better access, and then this mo this blade used to be a little bit chintzier. So I think they made that a little bit better. So according to our wiring schematic, the white wire goes to yellow, which is right there, which is common. And then the black wire is going to go to purple, which makes sense because that is uh, what drives the compressor. All right? Uh, like purple wire. Yeah, purple comes uh, from the control box from the AC controller inside and comes out. So that's going to be 110. Two compressor and then this goes out to compressor yeah that makes sense so we can do that too i think the biggest problem is going to be you have to pull these things are always a pain to pull out and separate but you get the screwdriver behind there pop the whole thing out and then separate it and run the wires so we'll do that and we'll get that done all right so now as i'm getting the supplies put together to plug those condensate holes off i've decided that maybe i should explain what's actually going on here Maybe not everybody already knows what I'm doing. Condensate is coming from the AC because the air we breathe, no matter how dry the desert air is, still has air, uh, moisture in it. So as you get that cold air, well, not really cold air, but the difference in pressure on the refrigerant, it causes uh, the evaporator. That's the evaporator coil right there. This is where air is coming in from the uh, air filter. It draws across right there. And uh, 
get sucked into the squirrel cage and back down into the room. So as it's going across right here, this is a reverse radiator. It's absorbing heat from the air going across it. And uh, the air coming on the other side is cold. Now, of course, this coil is gonna get below the dew point or the uh, capacity of the air to hold moisture in it. And so water will condense, hence the condensate. And so when it condenses, it'll come down the coil right here into this drip pan. This drip pan is just designed to catch the water and with those holes in it, it'll just drain out on the top of the roof. We need to solve that problem, which is why we're putting this pump in. And that pump's gonna pump the condensate because it takes it into the pan and pumps it out through little tubes at that point. And that's why we're doing this whole thing. So let's plug those holes. All right, so here's my high-tech plan. So I'm gonna get some high-tech metal tape. <laughs> Plug off the holes right there. You can see the wheat poles right there. And of course, this isn't gonna be enough, but with that plugged off. Now, I can get some ProFlex right here. I can feel those holes and massage it into place. And that should do a pretty good job clogging that hole. All right, and just like that, those holes are sealed. And ProFlex is waterproof. There we go. Now it's installed. Just have to put that back on. They gave me another screw right here. Just drill a hole right there. Of course, when I say screw, I mean bolt. So they're very adamant that it goes down, not up. You know, they're adamant in the instructions that this bolt goes down, but I don't know. That's really close to the top of the roof. You can see the foam right there. That's the seal. I'm going to be changing it back the way the factory has every other bolt on this thing. So the bolt head's at the bottom and the nut's going on the other side. I'm going rogue. That's been installed. We're good there. And I hooked the wires back to purple. That means this pump's always running whenever the compressor is calling for power. If you just turn the fan on, it's not going to be running. And then white just goes to uh, common, which is going to be neutral. And then I was just taking a look at it with Chad, and I thought we'd appreciate what the engineers put together and put together for us. So let's say this pump does fail, or your line gets clogged. And so this starts to overflow. Rather than overflowing right here and dumping inside on the ceiling, like a lot of these things tend to do, they still have these max overflows right there. So they'll just pop out of here and then drain out of the pan. So good job, engineers. Let's get the rest of this done, put this AC back together. Fans back in, that outside blower right there. Oh, that's just, go, go ahead and cut that. Put some zip ties on there to keep the wires from rubbing. And we follow that around. We'll notice that there's a green wire right here because there's a green wire that needs to be grounded to the motor. So ground strap. This is provided in the kit, right to the motor right there. Uh, zip tie it up. There's a little piece of uh, push on insulation. Go over the bracket right there. That's in the instructions. Look at the drain tube. You got the, there's a piece, there's some aluminum tape. Just take that off, put it right there. So I guess in hindsight, you could take that tape off, use it to plug the holes underneath. <laughs> And then you put the right into there. And then from that point, that's your drain hose that's going to go into the roof and down to the ground. Now, I will just put this back together. We'll be putting our own drain tube in, in right there. You figure it out on your own. And uh, we'll see how this thing works once we get this whole thing put back together. All right, so there it is installed. You can kind of see my aluminum tape under there. This is a uh, AC back install. Let's go back inside and take a look. All right, so here's our condensation line going in. We're drilling our hole. Uh, there's the one end of it. So this will be the only one that's in the actual ceiling, but it'll be accessible and serviceable if it does break or leak. Along with the entire line, the other end is right behind the rear cap. I'll show you where that's at. Oof. You get it? Yeah. <laughs> Fingers. Hold up. 
All right, so here is the other line, the other end of that. So there won't be anything exposed, no fittings inside anywhere. And it's all accessible. It's a good plan, right, Chad? Absolutely. It's my plan. It was my plan all along. I'll just drain all the way down there somewhere. Out the bottom. All right. Look at that. Seal that up. Put a P-clamp on right there. In case you do choose to join Well, it's not coming from that area, Chad. All right. I think it's coming between the... All right, so it's back installed over here. We just pop our little guys out, right? Should be able to see what's going on. AC filters out of the way, and now you can see. Can you see? You should be able to see that flexible uh, line going to a union, and then to the pack. Since we're at that point, that's going out to the ground. So all that work, just to get water from laying on top of the, the roof. Now I do understand the, the desire not to leave streaking on the roofs. Uh, in Arizona, our air is pretty dry so we don't get too much condensation unless you leave the door open for a long time. But in other parts of the world, for sure, you're, uh, you're gonna get a lot more moisture. And he's got a brand new roof. He has uh, paint and fabric protection on the, uh, the sidewalls and I understand he wants to uh, keep everything good. So. There you have it, an accidental uh, tutorial about installing a condensate pump on a Mach 8 AC. Let this thing run for a little bit. Hopefully we'll see some uh, water coming out of it. All right, so we got that put back together. Nice and cold air. Let's go outside and see if we're making some water. I got some water down there. Yeah, it looks like we got some water dripping on there. All right. I think we're all set, guys. And I didn't point it out, guys, but... But on the other side of the evaporator is a cup right there. And so it's actually a big ramp. So it goes from high to low over there for the pump to pump out. So there's only the one set of wheat poles on it. Always in a rush. Never things.